Before we move on to the next sections, talking about automating the process of deployment, I would like to show you how to redeploy your Django application manually. If you are working on a small project, you might want to go the route of manual redeployment, especially if you are on a budget. Back to our code editor, there is a change made to the .git ignore file that is yet to be committed. Remember I added static folder to hit. Right now, if I switch to the production server and run git status while in the code directory, you see that there is an untracked element, which is the static folder. We ignore this folder in our git repo because it is very possible that the static asset on the production be different from those on the dev environment especially when we have multiple developers working on our project. Back to the code editor, I will run git status command to see the status of things. I will stage the .git ignore file. I will commit it with a descriptive commit message. Then I will push to the master branch of the remote repository. Next, I will update the code on the production server with the new change. I will type cd and press enter to return to the deployment user's home directory. First, I will activate the virtual environment created for this project. To do that, I will type source venv slash bin slash activate and press enter to run. Whoops, that should be venv. That is done. Next, I will cd into the code directory, which is polling for me. The next step is to update the code. I will do that with this git command git pull origin master. The command will update the code base with the new changes on the remote repository. You will see that in the output message. One file changed two insertions and one deletion. Next, I will pip install the dependencies for this application with this command. pip install-r requirements.txt and press enter. Any dependency that is already installed will return a requirement already satisfied message. The next step is to update our database to reflect any changes made to our database tables. And we will do that with this command, python manage.py migrate. No new migrations to apply. That is because we have not created or modified any table since the last time we run the command. I will restart the Nginx web server with this command, sudo systemctl restart nginx and then unicorn that is done those are the steps we need to take to redeploy our application manually i will go back to the website and refresh to confirm nothing is broken and that is it about deploying and redeploying our django application manually let's continue with the rest of the course in the next section